Bar-ram you. Bar-ram you. when you get them on their back? Yeah. Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I, but, I saw it kind of, you like pulled her nose up to make her, is that kind of your trick for slowing when, them down? When, or is that... when I'm catching them? Yeah. Yeah, because if you get under their chin or like right up almost uh -huh. to their nose, then if you can control their head, mm -hmm. you can control what direction they go. Uh -huh. And if they don't feel like they can take their head where they want to go, then they're just going to stop. stop because they, they can't go where they want to. And then when I get them here, I try to keep them in a comfortable position, not like not centered on the tail or someplace that's too awkward for them. And then I'll either hold this leg or put it under my arm and kind of the way I hold their feet with my knees to keep them where they don't feel like they can just jump up, but they also don't feel like they're going to collapse on the ground. If they feel like they're going to fall, then they're going to want to try to escape. Or if they feel like I don't have them, then they're going to want to take off. And for every sheep, how much control you have to put to make them think they're caught differ. Some of them are really flighty and I'll, I'll like, I'll have to have them like this before they give up fighting. Mm -hmm. Some of them, as soon as I get them like this, they think they're caught and they're not going to fight like, it. Okay. But the key is just convincing them you have control. And as long as they think you're not going to let them get up, they're not going to try. Mm -hmm. They only try when they think they have a shot at a shot getting, getting up on their own. Um, I didn't get these sharpened before, so I'm not sure how much of it I can do. But this is like in the old days, this is what they would oh, shear yeah. with. And there's yeah. still some people who, especially in South Africa, there's people that will shear whole flocks with these. Oh my goodness. They have world competitions where they'll shear with these. Kind of the same muscle used in milking, but like a lot of Yeah. Straight. But it, it, the sheep won't look quite as smooth when you shear with this but the wool is for use is about as good or maybe even better because it doesn't cut a bunch of short pieces because mm. like this part right here if i caught that with those clippers it just snip off little tiny unusable pieces but you catch it with these it's just going to slide right out of them mm. and so then there won't be as many second cuts in the fleece I think so. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for it. Once you get it all off, I'll be able to. These don't hold together as much yeah. as the water breeze, but I think it will. Soft. I might have a bag of like Frisian fiber still in my room that somebody gave me, um, but it, it's just like super coarse. Like, so you can, 